Big thanks to Into the AM for helping to support my channel. Use my coupon code RISTER or any of my affiliate links for an additional 10% off of any order from Into the AM. Get yourself a good outfit and support my channel when you do. Once again, big thanks to Into the AM for helping me bring this content to you. My name is Rister Mice, and if you didn't already know, I'm primarily known for talking about and also playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm not exactly the greatest player, mind you, but compared to the average quick play competitor, I'm not bad by any means. But recently, a new game has come into my crosshairs, and it's got me quite interested. Rivals of Ether 2 has been in development for quite some time now, and they've been having beta weekends open only to Kickstarter backers. I was one of these backers, and so I've been playing the Rivals 2 betas as they've been releasing. You may have seen my videos playing the betas themselves. However, there's just just one problem here. I haven't been playing the main part of the game, the online matchmaking. Instead, I've just been playing with friends or with mutuals like Easy Freezy or Zen, the person who used to make my thumbnails. I stayed far away from online for a few reasons, the first of which being intimidation. Many of the Rivals 1 players had moved over and were playing Rivals 2, and I didn't think I was ready to challenge them. But in this most recent beta, the dev team added something new, a shop complete with coins used to buy trinkets. You get those coins by leveling up your character, and the only way to do that is by playing online matchmaking. And so, in the name of trinkets, I set out to become a pro Rivals 2 player, despite not even owning the first Rivals game and being thoroughly intimidated by the prospect of the online matchmaking. But in the name of trinkets, I made the leap and ventured into the online matchmaking, the scariest place in the world. Right away, I was faced with issues, and allow me to fully reveal my biases. I do not like fighting heavies and platform fighters. I know, I know, just trust me, I don't have a lot of fun. It's a deeply irrational and deeply personal grudge. And wouldn't you know it, the most popular character in online matchmaking, at least in my experience, is a heavy, the mighty Loxodont. Am I dead? Dude. So with my journey already having a rocky start, I pushed forward and began to learn a bit more about the characters I was playing. I was primarily using Reyno, with a little bit of Claren. I was drawn to Claren for being a simple swordswoman, focused on positioning and precision to perform well. For a Smash player who's very used to sorties, it was a natural transition. Reyno, on the other hand, is a sneaky, ninja-like character, using fast combos with amazing frame data that you'd see on characters like Greninja or Sheik. The key to Reyno is a tight combo game, and as I played, I began to get good at my execution. Wow. Dude! That should be it. Okay. Nice. Nice, let's go. Oh, damn. My fundamentals had carried over from Smash, but I still wasn't making a lot of headway. You see, no matter how many fundies I had from my mediocre Smash ability, some of these people have been playing Rivals 1 for years. And it may surprise you to learn that Rivals 1 is a lot more similar to Rivals 2 than any Smash game. But I was getting better, learning what I needed to improve on. I tried to parry it. Okay, look, the important part is that I knew what I needed to do better, not that I was doing it better already. I thought that I was on a roll, an inevitable uphill climb, and that it was only a matter of time before I came into my own. At least, that's what I thought would happen. But what do I do to get out of that kind of thing? I'm dead, aren't I? Dude, it's, it's like fighting any other heavy, it really is. Man, do I wish I had a little bit, just a little bit 
Okay, how do I get out of that though? How do I skip that? No way! Oh my god! No! Why did I do that? Dear viewers, I was in the gutter. As soon as I began to think that I was doing well, I began a losing streak unlike anything else. It was just loss after loss, and I began to slip into a dark place. My confidence and mentality was absolutely shattered, and I had no idea what to do anymore. I began to feel like there was no way I could catch up to any of these other players. I have been playing for three hours, trying to go up against people who have been playing essentially this game for like five years. It's so hard. And so, having gone overtime on my stream and not having fun with the game anymore, I turned off the stream for the day, convinced that I was never going to be able to succeed in this game whatsoever. It's a new day, dear viewers. On this day, I woke up early. I had a nice shower, I had some coffee, and I had somewhere to be. That meant that I was only able to stream for about an hour. And after I ended stream, the beta would be over before I was finished with my plans for that day. This was my last chance, my last opportunity to become a pro rivals player before the beta ended. I wondered aloud, was there any shortcut, any way to skip the tedious process of improvement and just get good? And in fact, one of my viewers had a very interesting suggestion on how to accomplish that. The first step to being good at Rivals is being a furry. All right, chat. Here we go. That was it! The furry ears was the tree secret! And from here, dear viewers, it was off to the races. Ooh, baby, that's the Greninja right there. Will that kill? Oh my god. If the game's even, it means it's in Lox's favor. But I just won anyways. Oh my god. By the time we came to the end of our stream, I came face to face with my final enemy, my old rival, the dreaded Loxodont, a heavy, the most popular character in the game, and my final test. And so I don't know what his weaknesses actually are. Do they exist? Because nothing will ever go my way. Oh god. That's it. I'm dead, I think. No, it didn't hit him. Please. Oh my god, is that it? Let's go! I can't believe it. I actually did it. And finally, I had done it. I won. I beat my least favorite character in a clutch victory. And with that, I became a Rivals 2 Pro. Okay, but not really. Listen, those streams were really fun and I had a great time, but I am nowhere near a pro. At least, not yet. But I'm definitely doing a lot better than I had been before this beta weekend started. And I have something that I didn't previously confidence in going online. It'll still be a hot minute before Rivals 2 releases to the public, but before that day comes, I'll still be here supporting and playing these beta weekends. And when I do, I'll be playing online. For today though, that's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster, Logan S, Persipom, Wawa, Mr. Sinister, Happy Feet, Ocean Man, Mistybot, and my tier 2 patrons Iltis, Diamond Blaze, and Ben L. 
Additionally, shout out my YouTube members, Ichiro Jr., Defective, Boston R, Gonesis B, Kirby Fan, Nexus, Loco Soko, and my two two members, Mike G, Wu Tang Forever, and Storm Troiper. Lastly, extra special thanks to my two crew supporters, Fat Blizzard, who says Big D will make it out of his slump, Avadun, who says Mr. Rice is the go to smash content, Iltis, who says MK Leo always comes back, and Grant I am. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description down below. Don't forget to use my coupon code RISTER in order to get 10% off of any order from Indie the AM. And lastly, I want to give one last sincere thanks to Let Me Fly for their continued support of my channel. Link to their Twitter page is also in the description. Don't miss tomorrow's upload. But until then, I've been Rister Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching.